Today I'm gonna show you what is the key to hold B on overpass. I'm gonna show you nice setups, how to manage your utility and a lot more. Before we start make sure to subscribe, like and comment down below to help my YouTube channel grow. First I'm gonna show you the early game. This will probably be very known to most people watching this but in case some here doesn't know then you obviously need to smoke CT to monster and uh, this monster player in general should go down and just clear if they flash and rush you should just spray and kill them while you're blind sometimes if you have bad spawn you can go with barrels and molotov and just dodge and if they rush you can kill them when they're running through the molo but in general it's really key to have this part from start the short player should always molotov short you just aim over this building double click and run and this way it lands in short pipe they have to use a smoke for it a second thing you can do is go in the corner here aim to the left of this corner and just jump throw this way when they're smoking you just nade and they will get 50 damage instantly another thing you can do in the beginning is just to go and hold here behind their molotov you are just standing and if they peek you will try and kill them here a third thing you can do is just instantly after your molotov go rain and dodge this way if your monster player gets here if they are doing any monster pop you will kill them if they are doing any short pop you will kill them and you're good the rotation player obviously need to smoke monster from ct spawn in general and it's also very good that he's nading door either from heaven or from backup depending what position he starts off with this nade door is crucial to annoy the t's and it makes it a lot easier so you can spam underground if they are taking any fast control you are very likely to get a kill so in general rotation player can like spam to underground or spam to short pipe and do a lot of damage and annoy from start after the early game and everything is stable there's obviously a lot of different things to do and things to think about but we are gonna start off with the monster setups so i'm gonna show you some really nice setups here first of all one setup is that you just have one guy going up here holding and a second guy is just close dodging and if they do any pop monster here this guy will just spam while he's blind and this guy can turn around and then help him now so it's very likely this guy can kill first guy while he's blind and then this guy is helping and the reason why this setup is super op is because a lot of times uh, at pro games they will have one guy holding rain if someone goes out here so when they're popping monster they flash and they go and clear right side while a avp for example is holding rain so if you instead are playing rain and here then it's very likely you both can just die so this setup is pretty insane for any monster pop obviously the second setup is the rain setup and even though i just said that it can be very bad if they are holding you there's also a lot of times where they will not be holding you in general i think this setup is the best one but the rain setup is also very good where you can just this guy monster can basically decide where he stands himself what angle does he want to be in and then the rain guy is just dodging and uh, if they do any monster pop he's just going out and killing them obviously this can be countered but it's still very good against most people the rotation while they are doing close setups monster he can for example play in a position like this hold short if they are walking in or doing any short pop he will get them in the side before they get to kill the monster guys you can also stand in egg up or abc and hold it uh, but this is just an off angle that is very nice the key thing about B side is utility management and it can be very nice if one of the a players drops a smoke to the rotation player so he's smoking monster and then getting a new one this will mean you have three smokes more for monster after the first one is faded and this makes it so much easier for you to hold b but in general it's very important to think about that when the t's if the t's are making noise in underground doing molotov if they're doing smoke mid doing flashes a making noise a like it's an a default then you should try and save your smoke so in this case you can for example if you have three smokes you can wait till one minute and 10 seconds to smoke monster this way you have three smokes monster and they will last the whole round and the t's have to go through your smoke at the end of the round which will make it pretty easy for you to hold obviously if you only have two smokes then you have to wait till 50 seconds which is fine in most cases because you're still standing in a setup ready for them to go so if they're going you will still have a good situation then you're just smoking it up on 50 
And as long as the rotation player is still here, you can still be close monster and don't worry about short. But as soon as the rotation player is leaving for A, then you kinda have to smoke monster unless you are very confident in it. But this is very very key to think about because it makes it so easy to hold B. And obviously if the T's are making a lot of noise on B, then it's very important to use your smokes fast because in this case you can make room for the A players to make info peak in the middle of the round either go aggressive long, go aggressive long toilet and then you can suddenly be four guys towards B if you get one guy aggressive and he gets information so in this way you always have to think about what information you get from everywhere and what you believe that they are doing and then do what you need to do out from that if you want to be aggressive short, I recommend in general that first guy is just doing the Molotov smoking the Molotov short here if they molo and he's just running out and dodging and going close. The two other guys on B is just doing boost here so he can just dodge and when they're flashing he just peeks so you always have revenge potential here and if they run out short fast you will most likely just kill them. If they are not running out short fast, you can nade the door and then see if you can catch someone off guard who is walking up. The important thing here is that one of the A players should then do the smoke monster so you are all the time safe in what you're doing. Before I talked about the utility management, one thing that is also very important is that if they are making a lot of noise on A, then you can make some info peaks on B, which can for example be this Molotov, you're just lining up here. Molotoving and then you can also flash after and they will be blind if they're standing here or if they're standing here and holding or here holding so this way you can get one guy out short and clear get right and clear everything and then have the, the space taken afterwards you can either stand in a position like this which is very well known so maybe it's not so good anymore sometimes it's also just better to go back because you have shown that you have taken short Another thing you can do is just do this flash. You're just standing in pit here, aiming over the crane. And then you're flashing close. This flash is mostly if you believe that they are here. And obviously you can combine this flash with the Molotov. So the Molo comes and then the flash comes and you're clearing. A third thing you can do is that when you have smoked monster, if, they are, if you feel like they're a lot A, you can just sit in the smoke as you have seen a lot of times in pro games. They're sitting two guys in the smoke. And then you are just fading the smoke and see if you can catch someone. Obviously, the better players you are playing against, the more they will be ready for this kind of play. So in general, being aggressive is probably a bit better on short. And sometimes you can also just try and walk out short if you feel like they are lot A and try and catch this guy. This way you are not showing that you have the control and then you can get in the position without them really knowing. And it makes it easier. In general, if you have one guy aggressive short i recommend that you have the second guy just jiggling here with smoke and once they are exploding you just smoke right side and this way you are making them have to go up left side you can take off angles or you can just take the usual angle this way you buy time for the short player he can even flash in front of dildo and come with you and this way he can hold the smoke and you hold left side and then at the same time if the rotation is coming up he can help as well this way you are not just giving up b just because you have short and this is what is crucial in pro games always have the backup plan ready never just think one step ahead think two or three steps ahead i'm gonna show you one a bit passive setup on b which is basically just uh, one guy jumping barrels second guy is standing pillar and just holding boost obviously this is after the beginning you just do as early game as i showed then you have a third guy standing ready with a double click flash just over this pillar and then he's just ready if they are popping monster he's just flashing and uh, this guy can then swing and kill them and at the same time the barrel guy can go and peek on the flash if the molotov barrels he obviously just smokes it and then he can help right side of it when this guy have contact and this guy when he is doing the flash he can speak short he can even go up and help you know you're just all helping each other and this is a great setup that heroic did that you can save your utility so if they are not doing anything b you're basically just saving your smokes 
and then again on 50 or 110 you just smoke monster and you have smokes for the rest of the round and this is a way to stand in a setup together and just save your utility and use it better for yourself later on the last thing i want to show you guys is just in general this boost boost at the sandbags boost at the plank boost at the top of side boost heaven with a avp who can watch feet in underground like all these boosts can be very annoying for the t's at the right timing so in general you should do it when you feel like they're moving around when they are going up towards underground when they're moving around to do like flashes for teammates or so forth then these boosts are very very annoying and sometimes you can also boost here and then one guy just flashing short as bait this one is pretty known and pretty obvious but it can still work a lot of times especially in pucks but in general these boosts can be very annoying i'm gonna show you the two best setups on my patreon so if you want to become a pro player i recommend you signing up for my patreon there's a lot of really good exclusive videos with a lot of details and i'm gonna show the best setups the best stuff in there so go check it out and at the same time you can support me and my youtube content thanks for watching guys and see you next time